Hello everyone, let's get with a quick video. It's gonna be about my extension, which has just got a new update. It's update uh, 2.1. And uh, the two new features that it got, the two new major features, is what I'm going to talk about real quick here. So, um, if you open the options, uh, you can find this new friends, groups and invites. Uh, uh, option category. Uh, it it in includes an uh, ignore group invites option which is quite straightforward. I just found that uh, most of the group invites I get are spam or things that I'm not interested in. So I have this on. It's, it's off by default. Uh, that's one small thing. And the m more important one is uh, you can see these uh, invite rules. Uh, these are the ones that I have set. These are not the default ones. These are mine. Um, uh, you can see the conditions here and the actions. Uh, all of my rules uh, ignore ignore the incoming requests. Uh, they are all active. Um, so circling back a bit, uh, why why would I set uh, rules to ignore people who add me? Now I have uh, I receive around a hundred friend requests a day. So if I wanted to talk to each and every one of those people, then I would be here talking to them all day, and that that's that would be the only thing that I do, and I don't want that. So I want to filter who I talk to, to save time, basically. And uh, uh, you can see the incoming friend requests and uh, my the rules I have set uh, acting on them. Uh, you can set, see new invites appearing. Um, some of them are ignored. Uh, most of them are ignored by rule 6, which is... Uh, the user's CSGO inventory value is under 200 uh, euros, uh, in my case. So most of the invites I receive are ignored by that rule. Uh, in this case, there was another guy ignored by rule 7, who had a private inventory. Now, I will show you what conditions you can set for your rules. There are uh, Quite a few of them are related to some kind of bans, like WAC ban, community ban, game ban. Uh, if you hover over the option, it, it explained in a bit more detail. You can see the title popping up. Um, there are some related to profile, privacy, Steam level is under or over a set value. WAC ban, yeah, CSGO inventory value, I think this is the most important for me. This is ignoring the most people, private inventory, common friends, um, how many common friends you have, um, and uh, yeah, I might might add ad additional conditions to this feature later on. Uh, if you have any ideas for that, let me know in the comments. And uh, by the way, you can basically abuse this um, rule system if you want to accept, uh, ignore, or block everyone. You can you can set rules like um, Steam level under five, add the rule, and add the rule like Steam level over five, and uh, this is going to match everyone. So. Uh, if anyone adds me in right now, they will be ignored by either one of these rules, but uh, let's not do that. So if for some reason you want to, you want everyone to be accepted who adds you, you can do that. If you want everyone to ignore, you can do it as well. I don't see a reason for that, but who knows, maybe you have the use case. So I showed you these are the history ev events from the incoming uh, requests and how the extension acts on them. Now, what else do we have here? Uh, this is the list of uh, inviters. 
the friend request that I have. This is basically the same as if I were to visit uh, this page, except uh, except it provides uh, more detail and uh, additional features. Like uh, yes, so there is name, common friends, and uh, the actions. Basically, that's all you can see on the standard uh, invites page. But here you can see. But well, you can see the Steam level as well. So Steam level, name, and actions. Now we, we have what we have more is the country so that may be interesting to you. Not much for me to be honest. Uh, common friends. You can you can sort by these. You can sort by or order by uh, Steam level as well. Now more importantly, well, inventory value. That's that again. That's the most important for me. You can see the uh, profile privacy state. This is all public in my case because I have a rule that uh, ignores uh, private profiles, so all of them are public. I also have rules to ignore banned people, so they have no bans. Those who who are um, who were not ignored by any rules. You can see the. Uh, some offer history like I received uh, some offer uh, the last offer I received from this guy was 11 hours ago this morning I guess uh, most of the most of the people who add me don't send an offer before they add me but uh, again if if someone presses these rules then I will most likely accept them eventually um, well, these are the same actions as you can see here, except uh, ignore block, etc. And evals is is more of a technical info, you can read about it here. So this is one of the major features I've introduced in update 2.1. The other one is uh, this icon might look unfamiliar to you because I've just added it. Uh, it indicates if the item is uh, present in another offer. When you click it, you are presented with uh, links to other offers. Uh, and when you click it, it jumps to the other offer. Be disconnected from your channel. And uh, you can uh, you can uh, easily decide which is the one to accept, uh, if any. Similarly, it it works similarly in offers the same indicator appears you click it this uh, information appears here with links to the other offers similarly in inventories the difference here is uh, because this is the inventory and not an offer all if the item is uh, present in any offers the indicator will appear here and the link when you select the item the link shows up here so these are the two new features, uh, I hope you like them and um, let me know if you want me to do these uh, release notes in a video format kind of videos and uh, see you soon, subscribe, like, etc, bye.